Hi guys, I perfected um, the Arclix Nemesis script a little bit. We're gonna keep 12 desktops slash tiling winner managers around. And this is what you can run. I want awesome, yes, I want BSB, yes, budgie, chat on, you know, just press the space bar and it will be installed or not. Right, little script. The thing is, cancel, um, that's new, right? Like, like five minutes ago. Now, the thing is, I'd like to test this out. The best thing to test this out is something, well, I was thinking version, uh, clean slate, right? Arch Linux ISO, but it's the middle of May. In the meantime, we've uh, seen a lot of Linux uh, updates and, and kernel updates. What if I go to the Arclix Nemesis so github.com Eric Dubois Arclix Nemesis, git clone it, go to Arch, that's the when on Arch, I'm not on Arch, create Arch Linux ISO, mm, what's that, create Arch Linux ISO, anybody can create an ISO by doing this, oh I should type yes, <laughs> if not already installed, my password is this, and off it goes, right, getting all the packages, which is not that much anymore, all the rest is already there in my cache. What is cache? Cache is this sudo pacman minus suv. There is a space on your computer that gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It keeps versions of all the packages. Control shift C and tuner super shift tab uh, enter. Sorry, this is a path. Control V enter. These are all packages. And some of them, well, they have different versions, like these guys, right? 142, 143. We are updating the Arch tweak tool again. Slim down, but it's there on the Nemesis repo. So all the things that you ever downloaded, old versions, new versions, is here. So downgrading sometimes, right? It's gonna take this one. If this doesn't work, the new one doesn't work, it goes back to the old one. So your yeah, cache, is it good or not? If you have four terabytes, I don't care, right? I really don't care. So it's 10 gigabyte, but you're not on a virtual machine and it has 30 gigabyte hard disk, this virtual machine, it makes sense to clean out one third already. Right. But for all the others, it's a good thing that you can go back to a brave version, not a brave version, right? Sure. But that's what happens. So, so you know that there is something called cache and SUV. Think about the car. This is all you need, the important stuff you need. And this is certainly something interesting to learn about Pac-Man hooks. Things with Pac-Man should do if file X comes in, if folder X is changed, if this is triggered, then trigger that, stuff like that. Right, you can make your own scripts. And maybe you should have a look at that as well. Have the reflex to type yay or paru, whatever you want, Pac-Man hook, right? And people put already things on there. Pac-diff Pac-Man hook kit. Find the command, find the command, have a look what all this thing is. Time shift auto snap, system deep boot, Pacman hook, check broken packages, Pacman hook. Maybe interesting for you, I don't know. We've got ourselves the Pacman hook kernel install, which is for system D. If you have a new kernel, like a Linux Zenmod or something. Pack cache hook is here, configurable hook to clean up the Pacman pack cache using pack cache. Well, yeah, you can do all, all of that yourself it's just well if you find reference to hooks on the arch wiki right you'll read you can add this to your system but look at this there's a lot already written and did I look at all of that no of course not um, but Vancord I have no idea what Vancord is right Vancord after Discord updates, there is something that linked to Discord. I didn't know. Eight years Discord, didn't know. 
So there's a bunch of stuff we don't know, and that's the fun in Linux, of course. We learn all the time. And there's even a Dracut up here. Desktop patcher hook. Uh, Wayland Ozon platform. Wow, Pfft, right? Whoa. Look at that, nice wallpaper. I've seen that somewhere. Anyway, I've got my ISO, right? It's gonna go, well, build here. Then we're gonna move everything. Where is it? There you are, right? That's the one we built. 2025, 05, the 15th. Done. We have created our own very own Arch Linux. Now I can see, sorry, now I can see <coughs> if these scripts work. Clone, Arch. We always fall back to Arch since that's the basis, right? That's what we play with all the time. Whether we're on something else, something based on Arch. And yes, there are shades of gray. I know, I know. Not everything is really Arch. For an end user, right? There we are. Let's make another set font term minus V one eight N. Nope. Let's try that with a minus, which is here. Yep. Hopefully you see that better. You figure out what load keys you need to do for your keyboard. For me, it's Latin one to have Azerti. Yay. Right. Then, um, I'm going to go for the Arch install. Don't like to type a lot. But on the Arclix D ICE um, website, you can find your lines, right? But this is easy. Locales slash, not backslash, slash PE Latin mirrors slash Sweden. I've made many videos like these, right? So. Have a look if you want to have some more explanations or just do what I do, right? Or not. Certainly don't take my name, but yes, I want to be super user, right? Confirm profile. I'll go like this, XFCE, graphics driver, don't care, because we're on VirtualBox, right? I could care, and if I would care, I would do this. Creator, I do care. I do love SDDM, back, audio, whatever. Me, I'm, I'm fine with both of them. Network, parallel downloads, yeah, baby, Thursday. Time zone, Brussels. And install. That's it, right? It would take me ages to go over the list for, well, the articlexd.com manual installation, the Arch Wiki way of installing. It takes 50 minutes. It's okay, but it's more typing, just more typing. And those are the 30 parallel downloads, as you see. And this moves things along. If you live right. It all depends on the internet, where you live, how stable the internet connection is, or even the electricity supplies. Point of the video, I'd like to test the Arcmix Nemesis scripts and we have to install something. We've created, let's have a look. <laughs> we have created in previous video, right? all the desktops which means i can install that one that one that one that one that one or that one now xfc we've seen xfc right leaves these guys one of those guys need to be chosen and the biggest one the longest one is plasma this is gnome just the package gnome package cinnamon package budgie what am I talking about? Brave. Well, take a browser. 
Uh, maybe a quick reference to something I've posted online. And um, nope, that's one quick post that somebody asked me, Eric, we can't build the ISOs anymore. Well, you need to rebuild Calamaris and use a local repo or an online repo if you don't have that knowledge. But here we're gonna use a local custom repo and you can keep on building ALCI and other ISOs out there. It's an application, a configuration, have the new one around and up, off you go again. But I was not going to go here. Why was I going to the internet? Oh my God, right? Why was I going to the internet? Don't know anymore. That's too bad. Um, I was going to go to D maybe. <laughs> so everything is explained here, the phases. This is the Arcmix D website. The D stands for all the desktops you can have. There are lots of desktops you can have. All the information is here. If you want to go for phase seven, so the Arch Linux start with the Arch way installing. What we're doing now is the Arch install. So if this was quick and too quick, right? 45 videos about the fact that we use, voila, right? So there's enough information online stay relevant it will always stay relevant because it's a workflow thing and sure the arch install at some point will change a little bit and that's good but um, that's just a little change would you like to shroot no reboot so we got ourselves an xfce Well, we need to first be able to boot into the system. So I'm going to go right mouse click, stop, power off, get rid of the ISO, buy ISO, boot up not with the ISO, but with the hard disk, so to speak, right? Virtual box, virtual hard disk. And here we are, not on Wayland, never on Wayland. Stay out of Wayland. A virtual box for the moment who knows in the future but here we get what we normally well let's quickly have uh, a look at it freeze the video these are the packages from xfc right i have made no choice in this xfc4 xfc4 goodies that's what we get all right, I'd like to have a folder called data, because just structure, right? A matter of structure. Is git installed, git command not found. So sudo pacman minus s y y u git. Immediately up to date, plus we get git. Git clone. Right, git clone. And then your place on the internet. This is mine. You make a fork and start using my code, change the code. And here we have the code. Run whatever you want to run. In this case, we'd like to go in here. CD, Arconlix desktops ls and there's this little nice thing that just goes like this looks it looks completely different now and we have to choose right let's take plasma tap moves you around okay and we'll have xfc and plasma Strange, right? Why didn't you choose Plasma in the beginning in Arch install? Because we want to test the script here. And it's more than the Plasma, the guys of Arch install thought of, right? It's, it's more. Maybe we should have a look. Can we navigate to here, to here, to here? Then you see there's a lot more. It's just not, not plasma alone. 
right? That's that's gonna install the desktop. But there's so many handy little things that you need, like an editor and Dolphin, maybe, right? A file manager, wouldn't be nice to have a file manager. And a terminal, Kate, wouldn't be nice to have that. Um, not Kate, oh, what is it? Do, 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 do. Spectacle is there as well. Yeah, Kowake is the F12 button. What was I thinking? There is a noise outside my house. I'm cleaning the road, I think. Maybe you can hear it in the mic. That noise. So we got two of them. Oh, it's my friend. Done. Nope. Yakowaki, the last one. Done. So, pseudo Pacman minus remove now as XFCE4. XFC4 goodies. Ooh, right? Bye, XFCE. Yeah, it's gonna fail all kind of things. No problemo. Reboot, right? XFC is gone. We switched out and we just want Plasma there. Or Plasma and Chat WM or Plasma and I3 and all Plasma and BSP WM, right? It's your choice. Combine anything with anything. Don't do Plasma. On virtual box. And the only thing we've done the last eight years in Arclix is tell users take control, right? And this Arclix thing, this Nemesis scripts, is just about that. Take control. Endless sky. <laughs> this I wanted to check out what this was. Oh, yeah. Share anonymous disabled. All right. Finish. There you go. We've got ourselves a system <coughs> for free, yeah? right think about it look at this right it's super nice has so many things maybe we should have a look this is installed that's installed help internet better install a browser <laughs> they did install something to turn there a video okay we can see a video ocular is there so yeah there's still lots of other stuff to install but look at the desktop right it's just amazing amazing go and have a look wallpapers this one take some fonts colors and themes choose anything you like and have fun enjoy linux